Well, now we head to California, which was once the greatest place to live, really, in the world. And it's becoming tougher to live in California by the day. What's happening? Trace Gallagher is on this story for us tonight. Trace? Well, how about a new water tax, Tucker? Governor Gavin Newsom hasn't said what the new water tax would cost California residents, but a similar proposal by former Governor Jerry Brown would have run residents 95 cents a month. That measure was abandoned after failing to get support in the legislature. Newsom says this time around the effort is aimed at providing clean drinking water in some of the state's rural towns and cities, but the Association of California Water Agency says the tax is unnecessary because the state has many alternate funding solutions. And the Howard Jarvis Taxpayer Association called the proposal an example of, quote, California's knee-jerk reaction to default to a new tax whenever there is a new problem. Meantime, California has already banned plastic bags and straws. Now paper receipts are on the chopping block. One Democratic state lawmaker wants to make it illegal to give out a paper receipt unless the customer specifically wants one. Supporters say paper receipts are coated in unhealthy chemicals. And by the way, if this passes, each violation would result in a $25 fine for the businesses. Tucker. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Trace Gallagher, great to see you. you too. Author and columnist Mark Stein joins us tonight. You know, sometimes, Mark, you hear an idea that's so brilliant, it's a transformative yeah. idea. It's almost like when Galileo got back from stargazing and hits you with it. And you're like, yeah, that makes sense. I was walking down Market Street today, in fact, in San Francisco, and there are people passed out, and there's human feces all over the sidewalk. And it occurred to me, if only they would ban paper receipts, maybe all of this would be better. Yes, I, I think so. As Trace was saying, uh, the, this, uh, these paper receipts can contain a chemical called BPA, which if you mm. eat it in high quantities can, call birth, can cause birth defects. Mm. And clearly that's why California uh, last year had the lowest uh, fertility rate in its entire history, because people aren't having any uh, births because uh, they're eating too many receipts. If you go to a Beverly Hills restaurant and the waiter says, uh, do you want the uh, curly endive salad? And the lady says, no, I'll just have the receipt and a glass of water. Oh, no, wait, I can't afford the tax on the water. Uh, just bring me the receipt. I, I had a 40 receipt a day habit. I used to buy packs of cigarettes just so I could eat the receipts. Um, but I actually think, I actually think, Tucker, there's a serious point in this. The beneficiary of this would be the Twitter guy who also yeah. makes these little square machines that you see which issue the electronic receipt. Yes. And if you think about it, Tucker, just as social media has meant that news and information and knowledge is just in the hands of four or five companies around the world now, imagine if actual money just came under the control of the same four or five people who control social media. I'd rather have a paper receipt than the Twitter guy. Uh, controlling uh, receipts. Well, okay, so but that's uh, not nothing. actually a crazy thing to say because there are, as you know, proposals every year to yep. do away with paper money and to make everything paperless. Absolutely. So why, no. in a at a time when big tech has shown no respect for the First Amendment, for freedom of association, for really any right at all, where they they ape communist China, why would we trust them to control all of our commercial transactions? Because I think the same, that there is a now a generation of people who think this is entirely normal. I mean, I don't, I don't want to go all, you know, electromagnetic pulse on you. Uh, <laughs> but one of the problems with that is if, if that ever does happen, we'll be going back to the mid 19th century, but with a population that no longer knows what people knew in the mid 19th century, including uh, that it sometimes helps to uh, be able to have paper receipts. It sometimes helps helps not to deliver more and more of the daily functioning of the world into the same four or five companies. That's so, I actually hadn't put those, uh, those together, but I should have. That's why we're always so grateful to have you on. Mark Stein, a genius. Thanks a lot, Tucker.